the adoption of the constitution of India and the transition of India from a British dominion to a republic on January 26, 1950. This is the day when India became a completely independent country as their permanent constitution came into force. With blind winds from far corners of heaven, with the vibes of liberty and freedom, with a strong determination to bring out the change, we stand here to celebrate the 73rd Republic Day of our country. The celebration of Republic Day is given to be a bit different from the past due to pandemic. Let us leave 2021 behind and strive to take India to no heights in 2022. Prayer purifies our mind and soul. It provides positive reinforcement and love. Let's start the day by remembering this supreme authority. Our national flag is the symbol of our national pride and identity. The tricolor symbolizes strength, peace and auspiciousness of the land. To begin with the Republic Day function, I would like to call upon our Honorable Manager, Very Reverend Dr. Stephen Thomas, host the national flag. It is rightly said that a man is a patriot of his heart beats true to his country. I kindly request our principal, Mrs. P. Bindu, to enlighten us with her enriching words. Today, India is celebrating the 73rd Republic Day, a historical day celebrated with massive fervor to commemorate the glorious legacy of our nation and the sacrifices of our freedom fighters. This is the day when the Indian Constitution came into existence in the year 1950 and which has kept us all binded together. We all have known and studied that India attained its freedom from the Britishers after years of struggle and sacrifices. But just knowing is not enough. It's a duty to remember the martyrs of the freedom struggle and give them their due respect and offer our tribute. We should learn to value the sacrifices of our great leaders and understand the true worth of it. So dear children, love your nation and be proud of your nation. Your nation is your home, just like your home where you live with your family. And today, amidst the COVID pandemic, all celebrations, activities, bondings with friends and families have narrowed down. And to regain our lost freedom and happiness from this deadly pandemic, we should take all the precautions issued to us from time to time, or else its war spread will take us all in its clutches. If you are safe, then you can keep your family and nation safe. Let us all pledge to take part in the nation building in our own unique way. You are the ambassadors who can spread the richness and value of our tradition and upload this internet. As students, you can strive 
for excellence in your studies and take every challenge as an opportunity for the betterment and speak with dignity. Respect your parents, teachers and elders and contribute small or big towards your nation. Nothing is impossible for the youth of the nation. So please take care and stay safe. Wishing you all a happy Republic Day. Jai Hind! Whenever we hear a patriotic song, we get goosebumps. It's a hidden feeling of patriotism inside us. Let's enjoy a beautiful patriotic song. It is said that speech is the mirror of the soul. To recall the contributions and sacrifices of great leaders, I would like to invite Aisha Jaseer for speech. Respected principal, teachers and my dear friends, I am Aisha Jaseer of Class 4B. Today we all are here to celebrate the San Vita Republic Day of our nation. This is a great and auspicious occasion for all of us. We should greet each other and pray to God for the development and prosperity of our nation. The public day is celebrated in India every year on 26th of January since 1950 as the constitution of India came into force on this day. India is a democratic country where public is authorized to elect their leaders to lead their country. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the first president of India. Since we got independence from the British rule in 1947, our country has developed a lot and counted among the powerful countries. Together with some developments, some drawbacks have also arisen, such as inequality, poverty, corruption, unemployment, illiteracy, etc. We need to take plans today for solving such problems in the society to make our country the best country in the world. Thank you. The preamble is referred to as the heart of the constitution. It signifies the basic ideology of the independent India. Let's know more about the preamble of Indian constitution with the next presentation. The constitution of India preamble. We, the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens. Justice, social, social, economic, and political. Liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith, and worship. Quality of status and of opportunity, and to promote among them all. Fraternity assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of the nation. In our Constituent Assembly, this, tw this 26th day of November 1949, do hereby adopt, enact and give to ourselves this Constitution. After Anka 
uncountable sacrifices of our freedom fighters, we got independence. And because of it only, we have gathered here and speak freely today. We owe a great thank you to all the freedom fighters and we salute all the freedom fighters. Once again, we wish you all a very happy Republic Day. Jai Hind! Happy Day!